Hi guys, thank you for watching Handy Radio. Today we have a Risiton UV1, which is a brand new dual band radio from China. The frequency range for this radio is 136 to 174 MHz and 400 to 480 megahertz. This is for transmit as well as receive. Out of the box you will get the radio with the battery and antenna, a mains charger, a car cigarette lighter charger, a slide on belt clip and a desktop uh, drop in charger with a user's manual. On the back of the radio you can see the information of the frequency and output power which is 5 watt and the battery contacts on the back of the radio with a metal back plate. The antenna is SMA female type so there's a hole rather than a pin. The battery is 1600 milliamp hours, 7.4 volts and the model number is BL1. You just slide the battery onto the back of the radio and to release the battery you just need to pull down uh, this little catch here at the bottom of the radio. We'll now go through the external features of this Risiton UV1. Now on the front of the radio you have a rather large uh, display screen which is very nice. The emergency alarm button, the PTT and up and down button here. It's got the two arrows but they function uh, depends on what you set, what you ask the radio to do. On the back of the radio, this is where you slide on your belt clip. On the right hand side of the radio, you have your speaker and microphone connection here. It's the same Kenwood 2 pin, so if you have any Baofeng or Kenwood accessories, uh, it will work with this resistant radio. Now, some feature that the other radios don't have is this direct charging DC in can so you directly charge the radio either using the supplied mains plug so that goes into the radio itself so you can charge it like that or this is very handy you can charge the radio in the car or anything with a cigarette lighter so this is a really nice feature on top of the radio you have the LED uh, flashlight. You also have a selection dial right underneath your power and volume switch. This is something that I really like. I mean on the UV5R uh, radios you don't have a selection dial but this one does. And it's nice and raised so you can, well you won't mistake the volume with the switch. There is also a receive and transmit light so it's showing different color when you press PTT and when you're receiving to turn the radio on. It's showing the voltage uh, when you turn the radio on first but this is a very big screen. On the bottom of the screen you do have a, a meter here telling you the in this case is the output power. I've set it to low power this is a 1 watt. Uh, if you set it to high power it will show you that and you also show you the receive so let's have a look at what the radio has at the moment it's on channel mode so to change between channel and frequency press exit button I know it's a bit weird but that's what you do so now it's on frequency you have two lines of display the top one shows you the RX so that's the receiving frequency and the bottom one is transmitting obviously if you're doing simplex and and using one frequency for receive and transmit this is what you will see however if you want to do a, a split so your tr transmit and receive on different frequencies for example if I put in my local repeater 145.7375 to be on the receive now you need to do is 145 What this allows you to do is to enter the receive frequency and transmit frequency on the same screen, but you do it one after the other. What you saw there was um, 
a single band operation so this one will only work on the one frequency however if you press the TDR button that brings what well, takes the radio onto a dual band so you can have two frequencies so you now have the A and B key which is working so you have the frequency A on the 145.550 and on frequency B you have 145.75 now that can be changed directly to a UHF band and if you transmit frequencies the same as your receiving frequency just press the PTT and that bring you back onto the standby screen now when you press transmit doesn't matter if you are A or B it momentarily goes on to the split so it shows you what are you transmitting on and what are you receiving on I'd like to show you the side keys on the radio that's very different to the other ones um, for example well the PTT there's nothing different you press to transmit now on the top one is the orange alarm button so if you single click that send out the alarm tone and you can see the uh, LED goes to the red color which is when you're transmitting now if you press and hold the alarm button that activates the little torch here so turn it off you got long press if you short press it just click it once you start the alarm which is a little bit annoying now the, the lower two buttons they have different functions so the first by single clicking um, the middle one or the up arrow that starts your FM radio single press again it comes up to the radio press and hold is going to enter the scan function so single click on the down arrow will activate a little stopwatch so personally I don't use this feature some of you out there may want to use this so press the down arrow again it stops and press the up arrow that takes you out of the stopwatch press and hold the down arrow opens the squelch so that's what the four buttons on the side that's what they will do I'll quickly enter the menu options and so you guys can see what's what you can do with this radio there are 27 options all together so I've got one adjusting the squelch if you want to adjust anything press menu again and you can see that menu option number stops flashing so you can change the actual value on the radio and press menu again when that number flashes that's when you can rotate the dial on top of the radio to go to the next option again transmit power the frequency step on this radio goes down to 5k now some radios do 2.5 this will go as low as 5k so you can change the opening or turning the message on and what is it showing you can edit the channel name and you store the channel name actually on the radio which is a nice feature and what this radio also has is the CTCSS and DCS scan there are lots of things that I like about this radio for example the large display screen the rotating dial on top of the radio you have your direct entry for the frequency for transmit and receive a number of options on the side of the radio you can charge the radio directly without plugging it without dropping into the desktop charger using the supplied um, lead or you can charge it in the car the build quality is very good 
the buttons are rubber, so it's not the clicky type of buttons. But it's quite soft and easy to use. And the numbers are nice and big as well on the buttons. So what are the negative points? Well, I think the design isn't to everyone's taste. For example, the raised bottom of the battery, I know it's easier for you to slide into the charger, means you've got a slightly awkward uh, radio to hold in your hand so, well, because of the, the raised bit. Although it's quite slim, it's a lot taller than your Baofeng UV5R series, as you can see here, I've put it next to the 5R A Plus model, so it's a little bit taller. And here it is together with the Baofeng UV82, and you can see straight away how much bigger the display screen is. So if I just tilt the two radios, you can see, wow, it's probably a time and a half, you know. So there you have it, the Rizaton UV1, dual band, VHF, UHF or 2 meter and 70 centimeter handheld radio.